What's going on guys and welcome to part two of this uh, Joel Rael enchantments deck. I'm having a great time with this one. I think it's a it's a really sweet deck. Uh, if you did not check out the first video, please do so. Uh, we did get a perfect 3-0 with it so far. Uh, and you can kind of see what, what we're actually running with, the how the deck's playing out and that kind of stuff. The last game in particular I thought was very, very interesting. Uh, and so please uh, take the time to check that out. I think it's worth it. Um, this deck is really, really synergistic. That's kind of the main thing that we're taking away from it. Um, and it's it's pretty awesome. Once you get the engine rolling, I think it's really, really good. Um, this might be a rough matchup. I'm not sure. Uh, the fact that... Wow, we've got three Sentinels eyes. Um, well, what are we going to play out of Starfield Mystic? Uh, with three Sentinels... Or uh, with... The temple here, my guess is we're up against Azorius Control, which is going to be slightly frustrating. Um, let's go ahead and play out a Satessan Champion. They may have a counter. Maybe not. Um, eventually, the issue we're going to have is they're going to sweep. Um, and so... Oh, this is the, the draw deck or whatever. This is such an interesting card, I think. Uh, Fairy Vandal. I think it's really interesting. Um, good news is, with all these Sentinel's Eyes, we can start drawing some extra cards um, and really, really getting in for a lot of damage. So I'm not tremendously worried about that. Season of Growth. Yeah, let's get that down. This is good because now we're going to draw two cards for every enchantment that we target into or we play onto something. So like, oh, Daxos is good too. I'm less worried about a sweeper now because of this, um, so I'm doing that. <clears throat> Alciad's good because it does offer protection. All right. And you're, again, already seeing that synergy happen where, you know, we're not getting the, the Daxos stuff quite yet, but, um, okay, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. This now gets counters thanks to the... Sentinel's Eyes going to the graveyard. And this is the beauty of Sentinel's Eyes, is it just gets to kind of come back a lot. <laughs> um, and now they don't really get the opportunity to attack uh, effectively. Um, so the question becomes, do we want to take our time to really divide out our board, or how do we want to do this? Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm. I think I like this play better. Um, yeah, we'll keep that on top. That's perfectly fine. Um, let's just play out the Alciad here. We'll draw that. That's fine. We get to draw two cards here, thankfully. We, or, excuse me, no, just the one. Um, now, let's see. Let's get this on this. This just gives us an attack this turn, um, which I think is worth it. If they block, they block. That's fine. And they give up. There we go. That's the magic of the synergy. <laughs> the magic of. Um, sweet. Let's jump into game two. So far, 4-0. Man. Guys, this deck is killer. Um, I really, really like this. There isn't much... We're not seeing Joe Rael do a whole lot. Uh, we did see it do a little bit in one of the games uh, in the first video, so I'm hoping that we get an opportunity to kind of see that do its thing soon. Um, but the thing about this deck is that it recovers so easily because it just draws so many cards um, when you've got the right stuff out. It does take just a bit of setup, but it really, really gets there if you want it to. Um... This is a bit of an unexciting hand, uh, but the Starfield Mystic is going to cheapen up this. Uh, let's try it. This this may be a bit of a, a mistake, um, but we'll we'll do the best we can here. We will see uh, against maybe mono white or blue white. Um, Healer's Hawk definitely makes me think we're against yeah just mono white life gain. That's fine. It's going to be a very frustrating match though. Uh, chances are we're going to struggle a bit here. Um, unless we can get Archon down in time where we're just kind of gaining some life on blocks back, um, we're going to, we're going to be in a rough spot, but we'll see. We shall see. I'll see. Ad. That's not bad. Um, 
play you out. Let's play you out. And let's play you out. Gonna pass here. Uh, chances are... Hmm. Nice. Chances are we do need to block something here. We'll block one of these. We just need to keep our life total at somewhat of a manageable state. Um, these are going to keep attacking him for a lot of damage, uh, which is a problem. Uh, maybe should have fabled passage there. My guess here, though, or my hope here is that they don't have um, like a banishing light or something that can deal with the Archon. That's a problem if they do. Um, but if they don't, then we get to really, really pay off next turn. Uh, with Satessin training, we get to draw some cards. It's cheap. Oh. Yep. Well, we just said it. We hoped they didn't have it, but they did. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't have left much up there, so. Yeah. Uh, let's just do this. I'm gonna take six here. Chances are we just lose, though. There's not a lot we can do against a board presence like this. Um, Jarael actually would be really helpful. That's not it. Um, let's throw this out there. Should have Fable Passaged first just to deck thin. Uh, but that's okay. Season of Growth. Blech. Not going to ma make it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and concede, unfortunately. We, we had another turn there, but that's not going to be good enough. Um, that's okay. We didn't get the perfect score, but that's okay. We got one more game, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying this deck. I really do like this one. Um, I think it's got legs to be pretty good on the best of one ladder. It's not amazing. It's not perfect, but it's very, very solid, I think. Uh, so I'm very happy to be testing it out. Um, also, just want to mention, I did talk about it in the first video. Please check out the JDC episode uh, number two. Uh, we had Vadrock versus Snapdax. It was a very, very fun game. Uh, Alex was kind enough to jump in and help us with that one, um, kind of on a last-minute basis, but he was kind enough to do it, so really do appreciate him there. And uh, we had a good time. We had a really, really good time. Um, do we keep this? Again, this might be a bit of a, mis a mistake, but we're going to try it. Um, this deck is going to be fairly aggressive, I think. Uh, so there is a world where we just kind of double up on Sentinel's Eyes here. Ooh, Daxos is quite good, actually. We'll see. We shall see. Um, don't know what... Normally these decks are aggressive, but it may not be. Oh, Proliferate deck. Okay. Interesting. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's get Daxos down. I think we'll just hold back. Um, this is going to be interesting. I'm not exactly sure what we're up against here. Um, probably a Planeswalker focus deck uh, if they're proliferating. Or, excuse me, if it's green white, it's probably just Selesnia 1 1 counters, um, which is good. Uh, very, very good. But potentially a bit slow versus what we're doing. We'll see. If we can get Archon down, we're going to be in great shape. Yeah. Looks like just one one counters. It's a good one. <clears throat> All right. Uh, hmm. Let's do this. Gain a life. Let's do this. Pay two. And I'm going to Sentinel's Eyes on this. My guess is they're not going to block. Um, yeah, but this gains us our two back, which is great. Uh, the, the thing that we need to be able to do is if they spend a turn to deal with the Alciad, that's fine. Um, because that means they're not playing a big threat. If they do play a big threat, I don't really care. <laughs> um, to be very frank, uh, if we draw a land, we've got Archon back and that's going to stop this little guy, uh, which means the proliferate's really not going to be doing too much. Unfortunately, we didn't get it there, but that's okay. Um, let's get this down. Get you down. And we'll get you down. I'm kind of boosting this up as an opportunity to, uh, to block here. 
Um, I'm going to say no attacks. We are down to an Archon in hand, though, which is not amazing, uh, considering it's stranded in our hands. So we really just need a land. Um, and we need for them to not do a ton, um, <laughs> which is a problem. But, you know, it is what it is. Wow, okay. Sure. That's very, very good. Um, Satessan Champion. Satessan Champion could be good. Um, I think we just pass here. This kind of helps mitigate some of these threats, so I'm I'm doing the best I can to leave it up. So Tessin Champion, if it sticks, uh, and depending on our draw, could help us get to more stuff, which is really crucial for us at the moment. Um, don't feel great about our position, though, I'll be honest. Wow. Okay. Does this have Trample? No. Good. That's helpful. Surprised they didn't attack with that, actually. We would have, like, had to have blocked it. Okay. This does draw us a card now, thanks to Sedesian Champion. Unfortunately, we drew another Sedesian Champion. Um, yeah. Not much we can do, but just sit back and hope we don't die. Uh, worth noting, we do have 20 life, which is pretty good, but chances are this is going to be rough. Um, we really want to get Archon down to get this out of the way, but it's just not happening. Um, and now they get to really boost up their team here. They're only at two lands, worth noting. That's very, very good. Um, that they only have two lands and are able to do this. Temple's helpful. Um... Land actually isn't as helpful now. Um, I mean, it would be good, but... We just can't attack in. We just can't do it. Um, Archon really doesn't even do it right now because of the counters on the uh, Apparition. Um, unfortunately, I think we're losing this game, guys. Wow, okay. Yeah. 25 counters. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, eventually they just go ham and win immediately. Which is, like, gonna suck. <laughs> we need an enchantment off the top. Really bad. Um, if they attack him, we do not block. Unfortunately, this having trample and this having trample is going to be a problem. Oh, well. Yeah. All right. Um, hmm. somewhat helps us, actually, if we can survive. Um, we do need to box something here. So this is, what, seven? I think that that works with the lifelink. So this actually helps a lot in a weird way. Um, they do proliferate, but now we've got three Sentinel's Eyes that all get to trigger off of these. This is like stupid strong, but theoretically this helps. Um, uh, we'll just get rid of these, that's fine. This does have reach, so we can't just swing in here. Worth noting. Hmm. I'll put that on the bottom. Kind of 
kind of want Alciad's, um, to be honest. This is an interesting, interesting game. Um, chances are we're just going to lose, so I'm not, like, tremendously stressed about this, but uh, it is worth doing the best we can to not lose, so we're going to try. This is super interesting, though. So this spits out two tokens, essentially, because of this. Well, at least we got to see that happen. Um, play that out. And now we just lose, right? Nope, can't attack. Um, yeah, we just lose. These two having trample means we lose. Wow. Sure. <laughs> uh, that. It's not going to matter. Yeah, okay. We're just going to concede. All right. Well, I think we did the best we could. Uh, that was really interesting. If we had gotten a land a little bit earlier, I think we might have been able to get there. But we did get to see, uh, you know, kind of the engine of the deck, which is really crucial. Fortunately, not so lucky in this this video. We, we only got one win. But uh, I really do like this deck. I think uh, in summary of this whole thing, I think the, the highlight of this deck is the synergistic side of it. I think the fact that it has so many kind of engine pieces that all work so well together uh, is really, really important. I think that, that that just demonstrates how cool these uh, interactions can really, really be. Uh, I think getting down an early Season of Growth or an early Joriel and then um, just starting to play out those enchantments is all you need to do. It's pretty straightforward, but... Um, you get tokens, you get life gain, and you draw cards. That's all three things based on just playing your deck as you normally would. Um, and I think that that's really, really cool. So I'm very happy to say I like this deck. I would highly recommend this. Uh, this deck has already been kind of prior to Corset 2021. Uh, there's already been a bit of a, a, a following with this deck, I guess you could say, and that it's already been played a little bit. But... Um, Having Joe Rael in there just gives you another token generator, which gives you more and more options, which I really, really like. So uh, definitely recommend it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please, again, make sure to check out the JDC video uh, that went up this morning. I hope you guys enjoy that episode. It was really, really a lot of fun, uh, as was this deck. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very, very soon with some more gameplay videos.